Folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha Investments for the first ever Rudy experience of opening a single box of the, should we say infamous? Infamous! Carnival, the old cryptid of the old, Karami of the old MetaZoo. In addition, the patron over here, Zon S, all the way from New Jersey, gets seven of the infamous this is probably what people really want to say, but I have never opened one of these, so I'm curious. So we're going to grab seven random fan art exclusive designed Rudy packs. No, oh, I guess I shouldn't have shaken the box. My little coin, the coin moved. Hang on. Put the coin back? Can we put the coin back? Oh, I moved the other direction. So seven of the custom made blister packs of the 2022. We're going to go one. We're going to go two. We're going to go three. Oh, we got a blue one. Oh, I guess I should have. Oh, I moved the other one now. We got four. We're going to go at the back here, five. And let's try the third one, six. And we'll try seven. So, seven random fan art packs we're going to jump through. We're going to, I don't know if everyone's aware of what's going on with the Rudy family specialty thing that was kind of a disaster, but it turned out to be this crazy thing. And now you can't, it's a really crazy thing. So nonetheless, Zon, good luck as we journey through the, uh, well, the months and months of excitement of Hello Kitty, and then the uh, world-famous panic after the TCG move on TCG Player and front page and everything. It's been a very, it's been a very turbulent, best word to use, disappointing, sad adventure, everybody. Beautiful box, though. Gorgeous-looking cards, gorgeous-looking pack. Uh, the feedback on this has been incredibly positive. I didn't really have a lot of Hello Kitty to sell. I made uh, 200, I had 150, and I think 80, so maybe 230 little bundles. I didn't have much of this product. We didn't really have a lot to sell. Um, I did a little bit because I want to see what happens, and then I can go back for more in the future. But yeah, it didn't work out real good, everybody. Uh, well, the card quality feels, oh wow, the card quality feels a little smooth. Boy, it's one thing with MetaZoo. Always good card quality. Sorcery can learn from that. All right, so let's take a look at these. We got the feedback of people who did buy them, though. Absolutely love the cards. Pack one, the gorgeous. Does that say griddle greaser? Griddle greaser, Pete. That's pretty funny. Halloween parade and some tokens and the old auras in the back there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open a couple of the Hello Kitty packs. Then we're randomly going to jump over to open the infamous packs. That's kind of how we're going to do this little video. And we're going to see how it goes. Very adorable art here. God, the reverse hollow on that's barely even noticeable. Look how tiny the reverse hollowing is on that card. Holy smokes. I didn't even notice it was hollowed at first at all. Um, wow. Okay. Are these are still are these still 36 pack boxes? I think they're still 36 pack boxes. <laughs> Kettle corn. That's I like that. All right, what do we got here? I am not very well versed. But oh, oh. But now I know. At least there was, before all the drama hit and the price collapse and everything was all over social media and everybody's blowing me up on messages. I know the Kiromi, this one, there was a couple cards that were $50 to $100 a piece that people were buying singles from. I don't remember, I don't know which one in particular. I think a patron told me it was like card 7 and 8. What is this, card number 3? Maybe that's not it. I know there's a couple hollows that are surprisingly expensive. I don't know if that price is going to hold or people are still going to collect. I don't... The market's in a very uncertain spot right now. God, I believe the My Melody. Boy, the black looks really nice. And man, I didn't even, you can't even see. Oh, yeah, you can. Look at the little, the gorgeous little hollowing there in the middle. Card quality is very nice on this. It did a really good job. I just, like I said, it's really not about the product itself. I mean, the feedback and people who've opened these with their families have absolutely loved it. It's been incredible. Ooh, look at the love. Oh, Loveland and Frogman. Look at he's got a little carnival outfit on. And I like the little, uh, is that on all the hollows? I didn't even notice. Is the little logo? Oh, it is in the corner of each one. That's very cool. God, the card quality. They've done a, they've done a really good job in the card quality of MetaZoo. That's one thing I have to admit. It's very consistent. The way they do the material, like the core. I mean, it's a very, it's very easy to grade card and everything. But speaking of grading, remember, if you want to use PCG, we got some beautiful, there's the old Mount Doom. And of course, if you have signed and altered cards or anything, we do all, well, maybe without the dust all over it. We do have some beautiful authentic slabs that we use for people. Also, if you have signature or anything, you can see at the top there. You can get the artist and everything. We do offer that. And of course, keep in mind, Zon, you do get one card graded also. 
Um, I'm sure you, you're probably going to want maybe all of these exclusive Rudy ones or maybe some of the hits from the MetaZoo Hello Kitty box lab. That's going to be uh, up to you. You get one automatically, but if you want extra done, obviously I can uh, get you a special pricing and package there also. Another reverse My Melody on there. So let's pause right there and let's do our very first ever of the Rudy the Crayon eating package of the fan art. Now these were custom, even the packaging is custom made com compared to the normal fan art packages. And of course, keep in mind, folks, there are four, you have three crayons and the Rudy card. So, and of course, you get your little, little coin there. I'm not sure if did anyone ever come out. Like, uh, see, I like the packaging. I don't know if anyone's ever taken the time to look at the packaging. I thought the packaging was really well done. That's just my opinion. All right. All right. So for the first one, we are looking at, ha, you got the main one. Pack one, the main crayon eater Rudy card. I did draw this one myself. And you can see how amazing my artwork is. That is the best drawing that I did. And remember, the blue crayon connects to the left, the red, and that which was drawn by my son and family members on there. You have Lindsay and Michael and everybody who did draw them. And the artwork does connect. So that is pack one on there. Um, I'll open a little bit of the fan art actual packs. But I'll leave some of those for you. Um, I don't know if you want to leave those sealed or not. But I'll leave. Oh, pack one. We got a little reverse there. The, I, I know these are all fan art illustrated cards. Is you only get one hollow in each pack? Um, I've heard, oh, and just, oh no, you only get two cards. I'm sorry. Two cards and some actual uh, auras. Oh wow, I thought it was four cards. So you get one either reverse or regular and then one regular on there. And you can see the rarity colors on the top there. I won't open them all. I don't know if you want to leave some of those sealed or not. So, but we will obviously, um, uh, oh wait, this one has, whoa, okay, wait, these are completely random. Holy smokes. Okay, so this one we had, look at this, a, a non-hollow in a reverse. Okay, wow, these are really randomized packs. Holy smokes, that's probably a very tough to get a complete set on. So, just for those of you who are not aware of what happened, um, I ran a little uh, Rudy Crayon Eating Bundle promo to the patrons a little while ago as the Rudy MetaZoo Through Time as a super duper, unbelievably, what I call it, an unbelievably cheap Price, which you got all the booster boxes of MetaZoo, which was four different booster boxes, and four of these unique custom things I made, and the price was like 300 bucks. Um, it was not very expensive, and essentially, I it didn't sell worth a crap. I didn't even sell half of them, and um, well, turns out people start getting them, and they realize how cool, and they realize how rare, and how special some of these things were, and I guess they started opening the packs. Now it became a big deal. And a huge dramatic thing, and really, no. Did I miss the hollow in that pack? No hollow at all. Really? Is there no, did I miss that in the, in the common or uncommon spot? No. Maybe. Wow. Wait. You can have a pack with no hollows, or maybe the reverse was just so subtle I didn't see it. Huh. Okay. It's like, did I miss that completely? The commons, uncommons. Ooh, that's a nice one. I love the green. Greens and purples always look really nice in the actual. Uh, is that the ho dog? What was that? Hodag! It was Hodag! I was like, wait a minute. I was like, the colors always look really neat on that. So, anyway, so I, I ran that sale and everybody just kind of made fun of it and ridiculed it, made fun of the artwork, made fun of me, my family's artwork, my kids' artwork, and they said it was all a scam to, you know, just dump you a bunch of crappy stuff. And, well, these packs are impossible to get and people are paying insanely expensive prices for them now. We're going to open one more, everybody. I think people are selling these randomized packs now for $100 to $150 a pack. It's stupidly expensive. There's literally none existing out in the open markets. And if you want them, good luck getting them from another patron who has them. Um, yeah, it's really become a very, very uh, bizarre turn of events, everybody. So pack number two, we have another Rudy promo. Wow. No crayons. What are the odds of that? Holy smokes. Dude, dude, what, what are the odds of that, Zon? Like, really? Two packs, right? Oh my goodness. All right, well, this will be the last fan art. I'll leave you the, the fan art ones um, unopened, though. We'll do that. I just want to see a little bit more. So, ooh, there's a nice one. So these are truly random. Wow. Mongolian Death Worm. So the consensus is the market loves these fan art packs. Like, even trying to find the old ones from the previous years, the packs are super expensive. And trying to get a complete set of some of these is insanely difficult. Wow, really? Godly, these are really random. So trying to get anything to do 
with these fan art series. It is a it is a hugely beloved product every year, and it is definitely oh, beautiful foiling on that one. They will grow grease repeat again. It is one of the most successful and sought after and uh, financially holding value of all MetaZoo kind of products in the last few years. It's kind of been a kind of a crazy thing on there. Oh wow, Chibi, that is a reverse on there. God, it's, these cards are like polished. I wish you guys could feel like the smooth polishness of these cards. Like the quality of the cards, and I mean, very, very, even the centering, everything is very well done on these. But MetaZoo never really had a lot of print quality issues. They were, oh wow, oh is this one of the, wait, wait, what card number? Five, oh, five, is this one of the expensive ones? With the Melody? I know a couple of these were super expensive. I, that might be one of the expensive ones, Son. I, I'm not sure. I know there was a couple of them that were between the card numbers like five and nine. Like some page said it was card number seven and eight. I don't recall a reverse one. A little reverse little little melody on the little dragon there. And anyways, um, so I keep getting questions about, you know, Rudy, are you gonna sell more of these impossible to get fan art things and the Rudy Cran thing and all this? And obviously I know it's like a meme and joke now, but now it's impossible to get. And you know, if you're not aware, um, the crayons, we'll open one more now. The crayons sell for around $100 a card. And the actual Rudy main card there sells for, I think, uh, maybe $200 a card? $300? It's, it's incredibly, incredibly expensive. So if you want a full set of the four of them, you're looking at, oh gosh, I think between like five and $700 or something. It's, it's incredibly expensive. If you can, well... Find it from another patron that actually has it for sale. Here we go. It, uh, really? Wow. Um, this is not going as I, <laughs> as I thought it would. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Let me open one more. Are you serious right now? Did I just grab a random section of the packs that had all the promo ones? Like, is this is this really happening right now? Like, this is not how I... Oh man, this is not how I expected the video to go. And that's what happens when you do these videos, and um, sometimes they, they just unfold in a way you don't really expect them to unfold in, everybody. Um, a crayon, please? Okay, we, did. we didn't get the same thing. I was like, if we have seven of the Rudy promos, every patron, everyone on the internet's going to be like, this is so rigged and scammed. Okay, so to this one we do have the Rudy's. We got the blue crayon here. Sorry, the, the plastic reflection on there. Uh, this has have my my woman's L for her Lindsay in her coffee, and my son with the crayon and the artwork from my uh, my young son there. So, if you're not aware, this particular card um, does connect to the side there. You can see the blue crayon goes across there. So, we have a pretty unbelievable congratulations on the profit there, uh, Zon. Uh, yeah, you did uh, you're doing quite well. I mean, my goodness. Um, geez, okay, that's. It happens sometimes, folks. It happens. Ooh, a nice little Halloween. Like, these cards look great. And everyone who actually, I didn't, well, the few people I sold this product to. I mean, not like I sold it to thousands of people. Uh, apparently, according to some other people sloshing around social media, I was like one of the smaller sellers of this product, and I did not sell very much of it. Apparently, some of the other partners and stores who did order a lot of this uh, are pretty upset because of the whole TCG player bundle front page collapse thing. Yeah, it's been a pretty... Oh, there's a nice one. The foiling is very subtle on that. You can barely only see it on the bottom there. Anyways, so everyone who actually did get these and opened them absolutely loved it. But then again, I guess, um, you know, enjoying the product, you think it turned out good versus what's happening in the markets are two different, uh, completely different questions, everybody. All right, folks, we are officially halfway through our one little Hello Kitty box over here. And I really have nothing negative to say about it. I think the cards, the details, looks absolutely beautiful. Really? Another Hodang? Really? It's like three of them in one box. Like the cards themselves, like everything looks... It looks good. I really don't have any complaints on the card quality. The artwork, the good colors and contrast on it. I mean, it... I mean, the product itself really isn't the problem. That's been kind of a reverse and gorgeous little infamous unicorn there. <laughs> Look at the little stand there. That's very cool. All right, well, now we're going to open one more. We're four in. We're going to open pack number five. And um, I guess hope for a whole set here. Although, in this situation, the patron is going to be able to obviously sell 
any of the uh, duplicates they want, and obviously they can turn a pretty easy profit because you have three Rudy cards! Uh, just so everybody knows, the estimated supply of these cards in existence right now, on or on the open market, that are being circulated around, um, I estimate there are only about, I'd say between maybe around 300, maybe 350, maybe up to 400, because there's no way to know. You could have people who got none and people had a bunch. So, look at this. Unbelievable. The comment section of patrons are going to be losing their mind in this video. Oh my god. Well, if there's less than 400 in, on the open market, well, congratulations. Uh, literally, this one patron has four already. They have four of the Rudy cards in, like, no crayons. Yeah, well, that's... what are the odds of that? But I guess that's just... sometimes life works in funny ways, everybody. A beautiful melody again. I swear, I thought those were the more expensive sought-after cards, too. I thought those were the ones that people were, were really going after. So, again, we're gonna do some more of these a little bit over time. We're not gonna do very many. Um, like I said, I have no plans to sell the rest of these directly or anything onto the market. I really... I mean, I have these little videos that I'll do every once in a while, and it's a little box devil reverse. Um, but it's not really going to be enough to change the market or do anything. Unless, of course, you get, you get a patron like this who just gets a bunch of armies of rudies. What are the odds of that? God, like somebody... Oh, oh, wow, look at that. The Carnival Celebration, that looks neat. You see the cards, the foiling looks different, too. It has like a more of a polished, different feel to it. Like the card stock on the foiling has a different vibe to it. And, ooh, I like the pop. Oh, that would look really good in regular hollow. Not reverse. That one would be... Even the packs. Anybody noticing the packs? How many pack arts are there? Two? Are there two pack... Three pack arts? There are three pack arts. Right? Or four? Is it three? No, yeah, three pack arts. Even the pack arts look fantastic. Look at that. That pink and black looks great. Yeah, it's just... What a, what a very unpredictable release and futures and delays. It's been a very unpredictable ride. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Really? Another melody? Once again, true randomness and hand pack on here, not track printing. Yeah, I don't think anybody saw it because everybody was really... The, the positive excitement... Really? Another hooding? Um, on this release, people were very pumped about it for months. I had people asking about this thing for months and messages and this and that. And <laughs> another beautiful frogman. And I mean... They look great, people like them, but it just sucks when you have a decent product that comes out and it gets completely plagued with all kinds of drama and price collapses and front page and it really, it just, it taints the name and the product and the brand and it's going to cause a lot of damage for a long time and I'm not really sure what the company's plans are to navigate this uh, reversible carnival. Um, I don't know how or what they're going to do moving forward to try to get confidence back into stores to people to order or pre-order or anything like that. I I have no idea at this point. This is uncharted territory. Like, the next release of whatever they do is going to be a very, very tough sell. Ooh, there's a nice one. Iowa Dragon, our first appearance of the Hollow there. That's a nice little hit. Again, people collect and people are buying these regular Hollows. They're actually, I mean... <laughs> Right now, the box prices on the open market are probably $60, $70 a box, and that's a... Oh, what? I was like, wait a minute. Technically, that's a hollow. I was like, wait, that's a reverse hollow. It's so subtle, I didn't even notice it. Um, the box prices are so low, but a lot of the single cards still have quite a bit of sales. So, I mean, is there a point where if these things go to like 30 40 50 bucks? Can you just buy the boxes and... Oh, God, see, these look great, man. Look at the carnival. Look at that. With Flatwood, look at that. That looks really neat, man. Um, all right, well, we got two packs left of the old Carnival Blister over here. Uh, my final comment on the Rudy stuff here. It's just life works in weird ways, and it just shows markets are unpredictable. There's no real way to know how things are going to unfold and how markets are going to react. And hey, we got a red crayon. Okay. So we got this one over here with uh, Michael. We got the old son's name here with his artwork. You guys see his signature. Sorry, the, the plastic bag is kind of messing with the hollow there. So very cool on the old volcano here on the right, as you can see. Which way is it going? Yep, you can see the red crayon that connects there. I don't know if it, I think it goes like that. Or like this? Yeah, no wait, this one goes on top that way. Very, very cool. Turned out really, really nice there. So, not hey, we may actually be able to get the whole series. So you've got four in the... God, I can't believe you got four Rudy cards. Holy smokes. Talk about... Well, Zon, you can easily... Uh, you, know, you can go on eBay and list some of those and you can make a lot of money. 
So congratulations. Don't be surprised if you got your messages and comments and patrons and people start messaging you to buy some of those extras. I can tell you that for a fact. So because a lot of people are looking for that. All right. Very last pack of the video here, everybody. Let's get this open here. All right. Here we go, everybody. The last one. Hey, it's a green. We did get it all. In the very end, we got the firework green money at the bottom. A green crayon for money. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very top, coming out of Rudy's head, we do have the green crayon to the top. Very awesome. Holy smokes, that's wild. So this is probably the absolute optimum, best opening possible that you can get for seven packs of this. Because you had four. You have a play set of four Rudy cards, and you got exactly one of each. Like, that is the probability... Of what you just saw has to be like less than 5%. And, you know, we'll do a couple more of these box openings in the future. Um, I'm not sure. Because one, one of two things I'm going to continue with is when I do a random little MetaZoo opening like this once, maybe once or twice a month, you'll see me crack a couple of them. And then someone out there gets a couple of these expensive cards. So right here, this is probably, oh my goodness. Um, for these, these seven cards right here are probably a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars is what people are fighting for right now. I, that would be my guess. Now, by the time you watch this, it may be lower, maybe higher, but it's pretty a lot crazier and a lot higher than I thought. I don't know if people still collect the coins or anything like that. I'm not really sure. I'm not. I don't really know if people are doing anything with those or if they're really different each time. I'm um, not including the fan art packs. Not including the actual Kitty Hollows. You get a lot here. So, yeah, that's uh, the end of 2023. And um, as far as my plan, um, I guess when I do maybe two little videos a month on the, um, a MetaZoo opening, we'll let the patron kind of get a couple of the crayon cards, and that's going to be about it. And then maybe in the future, or maybe in the holidays or next year, maybe I'll run a little MetaZoo sale. Um, I can tell you, I will reveal this. Um, for the MetaZoo fans out there, um, due to everything going on, um, I, am in, I am in communication with a couple, I guess you can call them bag holders or people angry at MetaZoo, who have cases of spell books uh, and theme decks and things like that. And I'm currently in negotiation to buy all that out from them to offer a nice little super duper cheap uh, patron buy the case type of thing. Like if I could do some sort of literal like case of 10 spell books or something for like $99 or $109, like something crazy, like super duper cheap stuff. I'm trying to negotiate to absorb some of that from some people who are just completely done with MetaZoo after what happened. They said that was it for them. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next with going moving to 2024 with, I mean, even this year, I noticed MetaZoo didn't really release the normal releases and sets. I mean, so I guess the whole year. I guess they released, what, Native? And, um, wait, Native and the Hello Kitty? Is that the only release they did for the whole year? Was that it? I think that might be it. So, I, I could be wrong. You know, beat me up if I'm wrong, but. So, I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, fire cell, cheap MetaZoo seal stuff from other people who are giving up. So, I can keep some for myself, offer some to patrons, super cheap thing. Like I said, I, I'm not the society, if I'm going to do anything with the crayon stuff, it's going to just be literally a video or two like this. Or I'm going to run some clearance thing. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I accidentally, you know, slip in one crayon pack in each order or something. You know, something small. That would be kind of the direction that I'm going to do with this. Um, these are just a very special thing because it's family related. So I'm not really going to just sell the packs for $100 a piece. And um, I've had a lot of offers of people doing things and, and wanting different options. But... I don't know. I think we're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna do something creative, and I want to do something that people aren't expecting. So I think that's gonna be the direction, which is either gonna be we're just gonna stick with a video or two of this a month, and someone gets lucky who signs up and just gets that, like this individual here, or I'm gonna run like a little sale, and I may, you know, like I said, I think the other option is if I do, you know, move like 50 little packs or something really small, I think it's gonna be a kind of unknown thing. It's gonna be something I'm not gonna say until. You know, you're just going it, to, it's going, so in other words, the only one who will find it in their order 
are going to be people who are buying MetaZoo that still believe in it or something, and I'm kind of just throwing them something special. That's going to be maybe the angle we go with. Um, that's all I have today, folks. Um, I thought the Hello Kitty cards and the packs and the art, I thought it was really well done. I think these things look great. I think I think they did a great job. Um, I think the crayon thing is just a bittersweet, funny thing with the fan art. I think the issue really isn't this. I think the issue is just the view of the public and the, the optics and perspective of everybody. And yeah, I'll see what happens in 2024. I have no idea how Medizu is going to handle the future.